Well, just 26 minutes into the new year, Tyler's first New Year's baby was born at Trinity Mother Francis Hospital. CBS 19's Amanda Robertson met with mom, baby, and grandma this morning. She explains why the number one is even more special to this family. Amanda? Not only was baby Lily and Elizabeth home born on the first day of the first month of a new year, she's also the first child for her mom, Tiffany, who's an only child, making baby Lillian also the first grandchild. <laughs> Tiffany Holmes says she can't stop looking at her New Year's bundle of joy, baby Lillian Elizabeth. That she was very beautiful and I'm my first daughter. I'm very happy. Tiffany's original due date was December 24th. She finally went into labor at 7 a.m. on New Year's Eve. The new mom says having a New Year's baby was a surprise. No, I had no idea. I didn't think I was going to be the first one, but it's pretty cool that we were the first. While Lillian is the first of more than 2,600 babies that will be born this year at TMF, she's one of the few with such a unique birth date. I think that it's pretty cool. She's got a birth date of 1111. That's pretty cool. It's amazing. You know, it's something that she'll always be able to remember and something that um, she can look back on um, and, and stories to tell and memories. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Tiffany's mother, Sandra Holm, says she hopes only the best for baby Lillian. Happiness. You know, I, I hope she finds um, happiness and joy and I think she'll get it. She's going to have a good mom. Having a baby is the most wonderful feeling in the world and um, a lot of work but it's well worth it especially after she gets here. Baby Lillian Elizabeth and her mom Tiffany are expected to go home Sunday afternoon. From the KYTX CBS 19 newsroom, Amanda Robertson, back to you. Thanks Amanda and earlier this evening there had been six New Year births at TMF, three girls and three boys.